Assalamu alaikum students, this is Farwa Batul, your O-level computer science instructor and welcome to another video. As we have started chapter number 10, Boolean logic and in the previous video I have given you uh, the introduction of the whole chapter. Now, in this video, we are formally going to start topic number one, that is standard logic gate symbols. Before going into the detail of Boolean logic, we need to understand what are logic gates and what are the standard logic gates that we are going to use to make up a logic circuit. So, by definition, a logic gate is the building block. It's the building block of your digital circuits or the logic circuits. Now, we need to understand that what are the standard logic gates that we can use to make up a logic circuit. So look at here, let's suppose there is a circuit like this that takes, that is using two logic gates, one is this and two is this. So it makes up a logic circuit. In this way, we need to understand what are the different logic gates that we can use to make up any logic circuit that can solve your problem. So the first one is your NOT gate. A NOT gate is the simple logic gate that we can use and let me break this into its symbol into the logic expression that you can use for NOT gate and also a little bit explanation okay so the first thing is your symbol the NOT gate has a symbol like this it's a triangle and a circle in the front okay there are two wires one is going inside and one is going outside so it means that there will be only one input and one output for this not gate one input means that either it will be zero or it will be one because remember that in binary boolean algebra we only talk about binary values so, either the input is going to be 0 or it is 1. And similarly, on the output side, what you will get, you will get only one bit as your output value. Now, here let me tell you that the function of NOT gate is to reverse your input bit. It means that if you are giving 1 as an input value, it will make your bit 0. And if you are giving 0 as your input value, it will make your bit 1 on the output side. So it is going to reverse your input bit. Now, for the logic expression, if let's suppose A is represented as your input value, then A bar will be considered your output value. Or A bar is going to be the logic expression for NOT gate. It means if the value of A is 0, then A bar will be 1. And if the value of A is 1, then the value of A bar will be 0. A bar is actually the reverse of A. Now, let me quickly go to the explanation. Um, okay, it is just, I am showing you the table for your NOT gate. Remember that you have only two combinations because the combinations of inputs are calculated with the formula 2 raised to the power n. So, if n is your number of inputs, so remember that in a NOT gate, you have only one input value. So, put 1 here. 2 raised to the power 1 means you will be having two combinations of your input values. Two combination means that one and two. Only two rows in your table. Combination number one will be if you are giving it a zero value, the output will be one. And combination number two will be if you are giving a NOT gate value one, so it makes it zero. So this is how it is going to work. Now, 
quickly moving towards the second standard logic gate it is called and gate okay if i say that and gate is basically representing the multiplication of your input bits then it will not be wrong it is the multiplication of input bits okay quickly see the symbol the logic expression and a little bit of explanation for this logic gate so the symbol is like this it takes two inputs it's the symbol and takes one output gives one output so this is your input one this is your input two and this is going to be your output so the logic expression is going to be if a and b are your two are your two inputs like this is a and this is b if a b are your input values so the logic expression of and gate will be a dot b where dot represents the multiplication of bits now quickly see the explanation first calculate the combinations 2 raised to the power n here you have two input values put two in place of n so you will be getting four combinations for the table of n gate so look at here input 1 input 2 and here is your output so we are having four combinations so the first combination will be 0 0 when both a and b are zero combination 2 is 0 1 then 3 is 1 0 and then fourth is 0 0 sorry not 0 0 1 so these can be your four combinations now let me tell you the output output is going to be the multiplication result of these input bits it means when you multiply 0 and 0 you will be getting 0 when you multiply 0 and 1 you will get 0 when you multiply 1 and 0 again you will get 0 but remember when you multiply 1 with 1 you will get result 1 so this is how the output of an and gate will be now it's all about end gate quickly moving towards your third standard logic gate that is your or gate if i say that or gate is the addition of input bits then it will not be wrong input bits again it is just like your end gate taking two input values okay let me just quickly write down the symbol of your or gate then logic expression then a little bit of explanation first thing let me tell you is your symbol two input lines or gate is like this and then one output line so this can be your input bit 1 a b can be your input bit 2 and the output will be let's suppose x so the logic expression for your n gate will be sorry or gate will be the output x equals to a plus b so the result will be the addition of two input bits explanation the number of combinations here will be 2 raised to the power n since we have two input bits four combinations just like your and gate so if it is a it is b the output is x let me quickly write down the four combinations 1 2 3 4 so it is 0 0 then it can be 0 1 
one zero or one one. The result will be the addition of two input values. So zero zero will be zero if you add them. Zero plus one one. One plus zero one. Now here you need to see one plus one in basic maths becomes two. But remember that in binary um, system, two is represented as one zero. If two is a binary value, you convert it into binary, it becomes one zero. And since we know that the OR gate is only giving us one output value or one bit as an output, so you will not consider this zero. Instead of that, you will be having one as your output. So in both three cases, zero plus one, one plus zero, and one plus one, your output will be one. Whereas when you add zero plus zero, the output will be zero. So remember that in Boolean logic, you are only dealing with the binary data. You are not dealing with the binary values. So one plus one is two, but we have to convert it into a binary value that is one zero. And since we only can have one output bit, so we will discard zero and we will have one as an output for the fourth combination of your input bits, one plus one. We are done with your OR gate. Now quickly moving towards the fourth standard logic gate, that is your NOR gate, sorry, NAND gate. NAND gate. If I say NAND gate is the reverse of AND gate, then it will not be wrong. It's a reverse of AND gate. So the symbol, talk about symbol, logic expression, and the little bit explanation of this gate. The symbol is, it takes two input lines. It is just like AND gate, but there is a small circle representing that it is a reverse of AND gate. Then the logic expression is, let's suppose A and B are your input lines and X is your output line. So we know that AND gate, if it was AND gate, then X equals to A into B. But since it's a reverse of AND gate, so for NAND, we can have x equals to a dot b bar. Why? Because in my not gate, I have already, already explained you that this bar means that the reverse of your input values. So input is a dot b. Sorry, the result of end gate is a dot b multiplication of input values, but since it is NAND gate, it's a reverse of AND gate. So we will be putting a bar at the top of A dot B. Now let me tell you that how we can calculate this. Let's talk about the explanation. 2 raised to the power 2 equals to 4 combinations. So let's suppose it is A, B, it is going to be X. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 0, 0, then 0, 1, then 1, 0, then 1, 1. Now here let me tell you that, let's find, let's write down for AND gate first. Then let's suppose if it is AND gate, then what would be the output? And if it is NAND gate, then what would be the output? So, for AND gate, we know that it will be simple multiplication. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1 into 0 is 0 and 1 into 1 is 1. But since it's, it's an NAND gate, NAND gate means that it is going to be the reverse of your AND gate. Since AND is 0, 0, 0, 1, so when I will reverse this, these bits, it will be 1, 1, 1, 0. So this is how your NAND gate is going to work. 
So if I remove this column, then you can simply learn that the result of NAND gate is when you multiply 0 into 0, it is 0. But since it is a reverse of AND gate, you will get 1 in your output. 0 into 1 is 0, but it's a reverse, so 0 becomes 1. 1 into 0 is 0, but since it's a reverse of AND gate, so it gives you 1. And the last one, 1 into 1 is 1, but since it's a reverse of multiplication, so you will get a 0 in your output. So it's a reverse of multiplication. That is all about NAND gate. Now quickly moving towards the fifth logic gate. The fifth one is your NOR gate. Just like your NAND gate, that was the reverse of AND gate, the NOR gate will be the reverse of OR gate. This can simply be learned as this N. If it is N with OR, then it is reverse of OR gate. And if it is N with A and D and, then it is reverse of your AND gate. You can learn like this. Now, reverse of OR gate means, let me tell you the symbol first, then logic expression. And a little bit of explanation for the gate. Okay, symbol is takes two input values, then it will be an OR gate with a small circle at its head. So this is A, this is B, this is your output X. For the logic expression of your OR gate was Simply A plus B. But for a NOR gate, it will be the reverse of A plus B. It means you will put a bar on the result of A plus B. And you can make it X, your output for the NOR gate. Now let me explain you this thing. Combinations will be 2 raised to the power N. That will be 4. Then A is your input value, B input value. Let's suppose X is your, X is the output for OR gate and then for NOR gate. Let's calculate like this. Okay, combinations are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Remember, if we add these bits, then Addition means that it is going to be your OR gate. 0, 0, 0, 0 plus 1, 1, 1 plus 1, 0, 1, and 1 plus 1 also 1. I already mentioned. But since it's a NOR gate, so all these results will be reversed. So it will be 1 to 0, 0, 0. Now quickly removing the result of OR gate. So you can directly learn the output of your NOR gate. So if your input bits are 0, 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, but we know that it is the reverse of addition. So it will become 1. In all the three other cases, one, 0 plus 1 is 1, but it's a reverse of addition. So you give, it gives you 0. Similarly, 1 plus 0 is 1, but it's a reverse of or so it will be 0. 1 plus 1 is also 1, but it's a reverse of addition, so it gives you 0 in your output. So simply it's the reverse of your or gate or the reverse of addition. Only when 0 plus 0 is there, you will get one output. Otherwise, in all the other cases, you will be getting 0 as your output value for NOR gate. Okay, it's almost done. Now, quickly moving towards the sixth standard logic gate, that is your ZOR gate. It's very, very important, the ZOR gate. Okay, 
for ZOR gate, let me tell you symbol of it. It has, there is no connection of ZOR gate with the other gates. Symbol, logic expression is different. And then we will discuss its explanation. Okay, for the symbol of ZOR gate, it is a quite different one. You have two inputs, then there is one line, and there is another line, and this is like a OR gate. Because look at the name. The name says that it's X and then OR. So make an OR gate, but before that, there is one line like this. So it's a symbol for your ZOR gate. Okay, you can also join the input lines like this. Now, this is your input A, this is your input B, and X will be your output. For the logic expression, it's a little difficult. Sometimes it is A dot B bar plus A bar dot B. Or sometimes you can say that it is A plus B multiplying with A dot B whole bar. So I will explain you in the next video that how these two expressions can be same because they are representing the same logic gate, the ZOR gate. So their values must be same or their result must be same. So sometimes you represent the ZOR gate as a dot b bar plus a bar dot b, or sometimes it is a plus b dot a dot b bar. Remember that plus means addition, and dot means multiplication, and this bar means the bar at any variable means it's a reverse of the input value. Okay, so let me explain you the ZOR gate. The combinations are 2 raised to the power n, 2 input bits means 4 combinations. So it will be like this, a, b, and x your output. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay, very, very simple. In order to remember the output of your ZOR gate, you just need to know that if the input values are dissimilar or it is 0, 1 or 1, 0, two different bits in your inputs, then your result will be 1. If you have dissimilar bits in your input side, either 0, 1 or either 1, 0, then the output will be 1. But if you have similar bits in your input side, similar means that if it is 0, 0 or if it is 1, 1, similar values, then your output will be 0 for both the cases. So it's a simple thing that you need to learn that if the input values are different, then the result will be 1. And if the input values are similar, 0, 0, 1, 1, same, then the output will be 0 for your ZOR gate. Or you can verify this by putting the values into this formula. Okay, so this is all about your standard logic gates. You need to remember the symbol of it and the working of it, that what actually it does to the output. Thank you so much for watching the video. Stay tuned, stay connected because there is a lot of uh, other things that are coming up to learn in this chapter. Take care. Bye-bye.